You hear that? I hear everything. I'm a moth. <laughs> no moths have the best hearing of any animal on the planet. Did you know that? <laughs> so you know. There you go. That's Richard right. Attenborough. That's why I'm there for you, Earth. <laughs> <laughs> we watched that. Me too. It's the most amazing. Put my five-year-old to sleep in two seconds. My wife and I were like, I feel like I'm back in college. It's the most amazing cinematography I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, true. It, you, it's like, it's how like how, how in the hell yeah. do they have the patience to wait that long for this mating call that comes out once a year or whatever? It's That's absolutely right. amazing. By the way, we're already right. into the podcast. Hi, everybody. It's right. Craig Shoemaker. It is Enlightened Up. Gunner and I haven't seen one another in a while. We're just talking about a, a fabulous, so we might as well recommend it, uh, on Netflix. It's called Earth by Richard Attenborough. Yes. And I think it, it's Sir Richard Attenborough. I'm sorry, yes. Or that could be the other one. They're filled with sirs, this Attenborough family. Lots of them. You're but, sitting with one. So, sir, I worked with Sir um, Patrick Stewart, by the way. Have you ever met him? I have not. Gunner, Gunner Peterson is the trainer of everyone, so I'm surprised you haven't met Patrick Stewart. Not the trainer of Patrick Stewart. But he, he was in full training when we did a movie together, and, uh, but I annoyed the hell out of him. That's so much so that they said, we have stuntmen for you guys because we had a fight scene. He goes, I don't need a stuntman, do you, Craig? <laughs> he was he, calling you out. Oh, call, totally called me out. He goes, and I said, uh, you know, I'm from Philly. I go, yeah, I don't need a stuntman. Meanwhile, he wins the fight, so he was able to kick me in a fern. He, he like, punched me, kicked me, and then he just... Fern a- is fern a metaphor? No, a fern dangle? is a freaking bush. Oh, if okay. you watch the movie, I tumble into it, and then he goes, I think we need to take two, don't you, Craig? I'm getting a tone of the podcast. Se- seven, the seven, seven. Frickin- se- se- oh, no, you can say fuck. Oh, no, I'm not saying that. I, I'm just so trained in radio that, you right. know, I don't, but I just dropped another fuck. You, Nothing gets edited here. Okay. Gunnar Peterson is our guest. It is Enlightened Up. It is Craig Shoemaker. He's never listened to this before, so he has no idea what we're in for. We really are trying, or no, we are doing... Um, alternative to what's out there. There's so much negativity out there. I thought I'd bring in the most negative person. I've ever had. No, I'm serious. No, I am the king of positivity. I never say you've never seen me my, say a bad word about anybody. Let me get to your intro. Mind, body, spirit. You're here for the body. I've never had anyone on that covers the body like you do. I know you're on the others as well, which is great. I think the biggest thing that's going on right now with the pandemic is people are forgetting. Hey, you got to be healthy. You know, that's your best immunity. Would you not agree with that? 100%. 100%. And I hate that it's been underplayed. Underplayed? It's not played. That's, it's, what, that's what I mean by It's underplayed. like there's no game. There's, there's, there's no that's game. Like, that's like underwear, like the, not underwear. Yeah, yeah. It's, it but it's, be, uh, it's, be, it's like be if li- you're not wearing any, that's still under what you're wearing. <laughs> that, that is true. I'll try to figure <laughs> do the math on that one. That's an algebra equation right now. For, for a comedian, that's tough. So, yeah. I, I do cover it all on here. We bring in spiritual leaders, a lot of comedians about the levity and the light that we really need in the world, but we also need to be fit. And it's amazing to me that how just that, by the way, gyms were shut down. Yeah, that was smart. Way to go. Let's go. <laughs> this will help you. We're closing it. Okay. Okay, good. But you can still pick up fast food or better yet, have it delivered. <laughs> there you go. And we can get cigarettes on the way. <laughs> Sure. Oh, yeah. The liquor stores, Killing you could it. go go get wasted, go get liquor. Oh, they're all open. That's no problem. But comedy shows, oh, no, shut it down. Yeah. I, I ended don't want to laugh. Don't want to lift. Feel don't, free to eat and smoke. Yeah, I think that we need some some laughter lunges. I think we need to combine both. Gunner, that's an I'm, idea. I'm using that tomorrow. I'm <laughs> programming that for my clients. How about some serenity squats? Oh, this is, is this just uh, <laughs> This is just, I'm, try, I'm, I'm riffing here. I'm trying to come up with some. This is just like alliteration we, 101. I, we, like I love alliteration. Yeah, it's love. The, it's yes, the best. love. Right, love. I love master. No, that's, you can't, that's retired. Astroglide? No, I said master. Oh, my God, look where your head is. <laughs> I they said astroglide. Well, that is usually where you Turn head. on vehicle. That's usually Venus. where you head is towards the astroglide area. Straight away. So I haven't seen you in a long time, but uh, I see you all the time on Instagram, though, and it drives me nuts because, uh, you know, we're around the same age and you are doing things that I couldn't do when we met a hundred years ago yeah, but I'm in not spin standing, class. But I'm not standing up in front of people making a killing, making them laugh and, and, <laughs> and helping the world in that way. P.S. I still quote your show from the late nineties or whenever it was. It had to be late nineties. Had to be. Yeah, of course we were in spin class and uh, you were, you were the spin instructor. I the Rambuses, you know, Kurt and Linda Rambus were in that class. Yeah. Do you know who else at the, who I used to ride behind? 
That sounds super weird. Re- no, it doesn't please, because please that was motivation. Please rephrase. Uh, no, I'm not going to rephrase <laughs> that. I was. I, I, it was an intended phraseology Love where me. I was going. I'm going to catch that ass and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> motivation 101. That's motivation. You're in spin class in Hollywood, and the asses are in front of you. It wasn't now it's Kurt a sta- Rambis, It's a station say. that was not Kurt right. Rambis or his oh. wife either. Oh yeah. No, no, no. There was somebody. I'm wondering if you can guess who it is. A TV star from the uh, long ago. And she was in our class. And was it was she? You were too. Yes. Okay. You think I'm going to be no, behind a male ass and want to catch I it? I don't judge. I don't, don't ever, well, ever take judge this. <laughs> judge this. <laughs> Put that away. I, look, I am fully, you know, gay friendly as you are. I lived in a gay neighborhood. I absolutely, but I am not nearly going that way. So okay. no is the answer to that. Okay. It's somebody who was in the sitcom a long time ago and she was in. The class, you, uh, you had so many, you don't remember, do you? I'm trying, I'm trying These are your early I'm days before. To think of now you you're with the literally class. the highest level of athletes. High, most famous people in the world see you now. This was in the days where when I give you this reference, you're going to go, oh, yeah, that's the level I was at. That time. <laughs> <laughs> you build up from this. By the way, I see everybody the same. I don't go, oh, big star, let's play to that. I go, let's see who they are. Because there were some hugely talented people on TV back then, to me, just because you're on TV doesn't mean you're not as talented as people in features. I look at that and go, there's some great, hilarious people and stunning, attractive people in TV. And also uh, who have never made it on TV and would like to be on TV, oh, who should be on TV. I agree with that. A lot of talented, equally talented people. It's a matter of luck. It's a matter of you were once an actor, right? Are you still doing it? Come on, dude. I, I used to work I with think a lot I, of casting directors and they put me in stuff because they worried I didn't have any insurance. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true story. Didn't I see you in a Ben Affleck movie? Uh, I don't know. Did I? No, uh, I don't Ben Affleck. I don't know. I, nah, I did, what do you mean uh, you don't know? You've rock, done that many movies? I, I was in... <laughs> what kind of film? <laughs> no, oh, uh, no, I'm not talking about in, those films. I was in... Uh, Sylvester Stallone put me in Rocky Balboa. Because I've worked with him in the gym for a thousand years, and he put me in Rocky Balboa. And I said, he said, do you want to be in the movie? I go, look, Sly, it's your, this is your baby. You've gotten this, you know, took yeah. you a long time to get this going. You had to do a lot of self in town to get the, and he goes, look, do you want to be in it or not? And finally he came, he goes, are you in the movie or not? And I go, Sly, this is up to you. I'm no actor. And he goes, you're playing a trainer. You don't have to act. <laughs> I go, I'm in. Not only that, you are an actor. You were an actor back. back. I, I remember your eight by 10 with like, you know, red hair, like Opie. Red, and, oh, you had an Opie Afro. <laughs> I mean, back, Opie back. Fro. So you still don't, you still don't know who I'm talking about. I'm trying to. I'd be behind this beautiful rear end. And I just thought, if I keep pedaling, some, I it. will come off of this bike mm-hmm. and just ram right into this beautiful you don't remember, huh? No, was a, she was a character on television in the 80s. I'll, 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 how about oh, that? Alyssa you got Milano? it, don't you? No, no, not her. You know who else is in your class? Huge. When she was really young, you know who that is, right? Huge oh, movie star now. Ari? Who? Natalie Portman was in your class. Yep. Yeah. Yep, she, yep. She roll in there to like 15 years old or whatever. I mean, yes, you had unbelievable you people. You were chasing 15-year-olds, were you? I was not. I okay. didn't say that that was That's the ass. I, asked. I, was I was going. trying to make sure. It was sure. not the ass I was headed for. Okay. I would now. But <laughs> if she's in your spin class, I will drive all the way to where you are. Fair. Thank you for coming all this way, by the way. So you don't know who I'm talking about. A character, a really like funny, like even the name of the show is funny. Like- it's real 80s, real 80s, young girl actress who became grown with, um, so I was appropriate in my search for pedaling faster. Punky Brewster. Oh, Soleil Moonfry. Yeah. Isn't that her name? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Yes, yeah, she was in our class. I'm not going to call her by her character name. She's a person. Well, yeah, she was in class. Oh, stop Stunning. it. But, but you Stunning. Think that, you and, think that pe- and hilarious. The, pe- the people, exactly. Hilarious. Stunning, answer. hilarious, yeah, funny. Total, total and, package. And, and exactly, and, and smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I got to know her a little bit in, yeah. in class, but yes, she was ahead of me in the in the spinning. That was a motivation. And somehow, you're not as tall as I am, and usually you can judge feet size. I wore your shoes. I don't know if you remember that. You used to give me, because there was no way I was investing no, no, in yeah, those yeah. freaking spinning shoes. Yeah, yeah, the clip-ons. Yeah, no. The clip-ons. I, was, I wasn't going to, so you let me use strap your- Strap-on is another thing. Like, I know, you got the strap-on, and you get, but you <laughs> loan them to me all the time, and I don't see, what size shoe are you? 11. 
I'm a 12. I don't know how that happened. Oh, maybe they were just big for you. You always have extra shit. I still have sneakers that you gave me, 76 or sneakers. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Adidas. I style. wear them once a year, you know. At the game. Yeah, exactly. I wear, I wear them in the game every year. My son, Justin, wears them sometimes, too. And then Justin ended up working for you. Working which with was, me. Let's not say four. Let's not put it. Let's not do it like that. Justin worked. I had the honor of working alongside Justin. How about that? <laughs> My son, you had the honor. <laughs> Maybe we know him differently. Oh, we definitely know him differently. <laughs> I'm if he I comes here, kid. if he comes here, everybody does. He's but so me, great. Everybody and does love him. He's so great, and he's so dry. Got a weird sense of humor. Yeah. Must have got that from his mom. But either no. way, yeah, well, he's, yeah, she's a she's a <laughs> laugh riot. Let me tell you that. <laughs> I love. I had so much fun with him in there, and he he was he busted um, his balls right a lot. Uh, you, I know you. Are you, you with HR? Uh, he was so great because he got to see some behind the curtain stuff. And he went, did. Good Work, lord, working with the Lakers. Yeah, he was there their championship year as yeah. an intern, yeah. working with yeah. you. But it was a coincidence that he ended up with you. It wasn't. I didn't go to you. I went to the Lakers. Yeah, you went to people with power. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you have power in your space. No, but yeah. I went. So they came and said, "Hey, we have this guy to intern. He's this crazy, said, right?" And I said, "Yeah, I mean, I know his dad. If he's anything like his dad, bring him in." Yeah. Oh, he loves you. As a matter of fact, I haven't seen him in months. Yeah. He heard you were coming, and like I have huge guests in here. You know, what I mean, like really big stars. Yeah, like no, tall. You mean? No, no, no. Like really big oh. stars. Was, oh, Gunner's there. He's texting me three times today. I don't hear from him three times in a month. So you might see him walking in here. We'll I, put hope it, I, I hope I do. Yeah, I think I think he might be on his way. Who knows? It, I never get returned texts. Now you have kids around his age. You have kids exactly his age. Yep. Do they get back to you? Uh, one of them, who I would have said was the dark horse early <laughs> on, has proven. I actually said this morning to someone in the gym. I said, "Who would have thought he's just the." He responds. He's quick. He's courteous. He's, he's and, and he was he was going to be the fuck up. A hundred percent. And I tell him, I go, "Who are you? I love you, but who are you? <laughs> what what? what you are exceeding all expectations." How about that? Yeah, something happens. My daughter, not so much quick on the text. Love her. We have great time when we're together, which is never enough. But on the text, she's slow. And I go, "Honey, you got to get." She goes, "Dad, I'm not really on the text." And I said. Maybe that phone is glued to your face all day long. She said, well, I'm not in my text app. I go, well, get in the text app. Oh, yeah. Then they want you on their certain apps. Yeah, I got to yeah. do the Snatch chat, app whatever this. shit is. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. Yeah. Not doing it. They'll take a picture, and I'll say, what are you doing with that? I'm going to send it to my friend. I go, don't, don't send that picture out. Dad, it's just on Snapchat. I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what it's all. It's too much for me. Well, what about this? Do they? You post all the time on Instagram. Just on Instagram. Or you're just on Instagram, yeah, I which, I, the rest. which I, I literally wake up every day and I should be working out, but I just have to watch you. So you cra- that's it like pops 10, up every day. 10%. There's a thing called bilateral transfer and training. So if you, did I, you're shaking. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, you have, that was you have an episode. I, I uh, <laughs> have no idea where that came from. So let's say your right arm is injured. If you train on your left side, yeah. you can receive up to 10% benefit on the right side, bilateral transfer. So I think you're getting some kind of transfer if you're looking at the workouts on oh, Instagram. I see. It's a, it's a similar word to osmosis is the word that I I would learn back in the 80s. But I so the, I will use this bilateral is a, this transfer. Is, yeah. I will, I'm getting rid of osmosis. Yeah, this is not a seance. It's <laughs> not. <laughs> so, so yeah, I wake up and there you are. You pop up on my Instagram every day doing exercises I've never even heard of before. Do you like make shit up at night? Just go, I've got a new exercise. Never. This one, this one I'm going to hang by a third toe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> on the left foot. On the left foot. My only. non-dominant the, side. My, <laughs> and this is going to, I, I, you just, I seriously, I see exercises that no one has, I've never seen before. Yeah, but it's by 4 p.m. that day. You'll see them all over the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Someone yeah. else is taking them. Look what I do. There's a, you know what I Is it like comedy? Do you guys like take from one another? I mean, it's a business of poaching for sure. Is and it, there is shouldn't it? be a problem. But when you do take something directly from someone else, yeah. in my opinion, you should credit them. Here's one for you. I have a, uh, I have a toilet in my gym. And years ago, some kid bad about me. Like, what does he think that's fine? Or, I use it as a cue for squats. When people say, I can't squat, I go, well, did you use the restroom today? Mm-hmm. And they go, what do you mean? Uh, look, just like right there, there's a toilet. And I say, look, if you can sit on that, you can do a squat. Now, maybe we can't load twice your body weight on your back and do it, but we can progress from there. It got posted on Instagram by somebody very famous, and it went viral. And there are gyms now that have popped up around the world putting a toilet in the gym, and they'll credit me. 
I saw, and, and they'll write to me and I'll say something funny and give them the credit back. Cause I think that it's a good, it's a valid cue. I have one guy I saw post it who I know follows me, who has liked those pictures. And he said, I came up with this idea. Stop today. it. And I was like, no, you didn't. Wow. No, Did you, you call him on it? Yeah. I wrote him. I said, Hey, great idea. Inspiration comes from the craziest places. Doesn't it? He didn't write back. Didn't write back. Yeah. So I just look at that. Look, I don't, I don't need credit for your toilet, but at the same time, let's, when it's that overt, I, I think unless it's a licensing deal, then you want the money for it. I mean, if there's, if there's something, I'm a you, terrible businessman. Well, not so much. Listen to this coincidence. It's very strange. There's this guy and his wife that I'm getting to know, hang out with them a bunch these days. Very, very successful in the vegan pizza business, actually. Great guy. The great cauliflower crust? Yes, all of that vegan pizza. <laughs> oh, wait, you hear what I, you're about to, what I'm about to say that you're giving the guy the, the, the fart sound. <laughs> he, I somehow mentioned your name. I think it was because the other guy at the table was applying for a job at the Lakers. I said, my son, Justin, worked for the Lakers. And he worked with my friend. You didn't gas it up and say my son Justin ran the Lakers. You didn't like say something like that. No, 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 no. I was okay. honest about it that that you were his towel boy. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> so I said, uh, I said, I said your name and this guy. I couldn't believe you know. I told you I know a lot of celebrities and he went nuts on your name because Gunnar Peterson. And I go yeah yeah. I was it was a throwaway. Yeah, thank and you. He, thank you for that. And he goes, see, that's, yeah, that's see, that's this, this is the guy mark. you want to do. Okay. No, the cauliflower, just a cauliflower crust. Okay, well, that he has vegan pizzas. He's very successful. crust yeah. it promotes gastrointestinal disorder. Is that right? Just Well, we will, t we will talk about it. Look, not, maybe not for I everybody, want to but in our house, it's one of those. My, my gosh, house. Look at the dogs. Listen, I am. I don't do as well when I go on these vegetation. Vegetation. These ve these. <laughs> Vegetarian, <laughs> these vegetation diets. I don't do as well when, I, when I'm in it a vegetative state. I think, I, I think, <laughs> I think there's, I, we all have different body types. That's what I'm saying. We all have, we, there's a book called Eat for Your Body Type or Your Blood Type. Whatever. Eat right for your type. Right. So, so if I'm not that, you know. I didn't write the book, by the way. Did not write that. No, you didn't write that because would, you're not a businessman. You don't write anything. That's so, not true. I know. Yeah. I'm about to tell you how the guy knows you. He knows you from back. 20 years ago with core secrets. Yes, he there goes, we go. Bring, I have bring, all the, bring it all back. He says, I have all the core secrets. He goes, Gunner got me through <laughs> decades or whatever. I'm going, Gunner? I guy. I'm going, Gunner, I'm going to see him next week. He was like ready to book a trip here from Pasadena to come to be here in, as an audience member because Gunner Peterson was coming in here. How great is this? Yes. We get him and Justin and Harold. I know and all your fans. We'll all your fans. And then we'll get your ex-wife. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> yeah, and call Soleil too. Just fill the room. <laughs> well, Soleil, have you seen her? Have you talked to her in a while? I have not. Uh, no, e me either. I lost touch with that. I'll, I will never forget those days spinning with Gunnar Peterson, our guest. And by the way, I'm so used to radio. You know, I have to reset and everything. I you don't, know, but in, I'll take your word for podcasts, it. In podcasts, you don't need to do that because okay. they're literally downloading where it says today's guest, guest Gunnar Peterson. It says it written. So you don't have to go, today, uh, by the way, we're with Gunnar Peterson, and we're talking about core secrets. We're so, not talking about that, but I, I want to talk about I core secrets. I still I have the DVDs. I stand, well, you don't have the VHS, so at least you're ahead. They, we had those in VHS, by the way. They go. Now, was that that company, yep. Gunther Renke? Gunther Renker. Gunther Renker. At the time, I don't I was know combining now. it with Gunnar Peterson. That's fair. That's, uh, <laughs> at the time, uh, largest infomercial company in the world. 100%. Terrific to work for. Great guys. Huge. Yep. Greg like Renker, probably billionaires. Company. Oh, I would imagine. Yeah. They, they crushed it. And then they moved on to... Um, Do they not do that anymore? I don't think they're in fitness anymore. I don't know. They moved on to... Infomercials is what I'm talking about. Do they even do... Well, they do have infomercials. They're not as big as they were, are they? I would imagine they're not because social media has cut into that market. But they moved on to the uh, skincare one that's so popular. Oh. You know, I can't think of the name right now. So they do infomercials for skincare. Or they, they have like Cindy Crawford or one of them. Something like you that. You know, like a that? Cheryl Teagues or something, you know. What was the product they did? It's like the biggest skincare thing out there. Oh, you think I... You have perfect skin, so you, it can't, you, you think, might not know. Do you but. think that is God-given? <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally do nothing to my skin. 
Okay. Nothing except for just have oily skin. That's I don't. It's natural. You're called tan and healthy. I'm. I just was whitewater rafting and deep sea fishing within the last week. I invited you, right? You did invite me to deep sea fishing. Well, you sent a dick pic, and you were on the <laughs> ocean. So if that's an invitation, then yes. <laughs> We're whaling today. <laughs> yeah, baby. Get the harpoon, baby. He's unretired. Oh, yeah. That's right, baby. Love master, baby. Hey, Bring Gunner. Back. What has a hundred teeth and holds back a monster? My zipper, <laughs> baby. Oh, there, yeah. I haven't ever heard that. I've heard the love master. I have hundreds many, of lines, you I goof. Know, but please, I could send I, you to a text. I'll do it right now. Maybe the people will go. How many Two, six. No, what is it? Two, six, seven, eight, six. You do laugh. And it has 10 new Love Master lines. So whenever you're in doubt, when you, you get your lady wound up. Hang on, we're going to go back. Let's go penis colossus. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to go back to the 90s. And, then when, and you had somebody yeah. leave. I was, in, I was at Hermosa Beach Comedy Club. And, and some, they left the room? And somebody was, a, a woman excused her. Like, didn't excuse her. She got up to walk out. I'm sure she's going to the restaurant. I never and, let them get away. And you go like this. Let me get the door for you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bend it around the corner back there, baby. That's me tapping you on the shoulder right now, yes, baby. Yes, yes. How did that get retired? That's it's true. not retired. Are you, you kidding me? You out there, I retired that act. No, I no, I retired certain jokes. But no, Love Master is great because I can keep re- writing new jokes. You know, Born to Run, right? Everybody sings along with it. Yeah. He can't do Baby, I'm Born to Trot. Correct. I'm born to jog, but what's cool you've got is- to do born to run. You got to do lyrics exactly. I can change the lyrics to Love Master all the time. It I have, I have a uh, pandemic love master line. It, it kind of I'll makes- take you to Wuhan <laughs> to the wet lab, baby. <laughs> it kind yeah. of makes you exempt from the Me Too movement too because you're like one step removed from it. Because he doesn't really... You're going to have to explain that because I'm going to have to explain it sometime. <laughs> no one's caught me yet. What's from the Me Too, Me Too has not caught up to me because I'm under the radar, which well, basically mean washed up. But it's an but alter <laughs> ego. They can't, they can't subpoena your alter ego. Not subpoena, but it's still. Subpoenas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a new one. Put that on 2650 and laugh. Yeah. You know it'll be a hung jury, baby. Yeah. There we go. That's right. That's Those right. jurors are 12 angry inches. That's <laughs> right. It's terrible. Oh, my This God. is awful. I just lost all my female. female uh, but you got so many dudes on now. <laughs> Hey, listen, I just think that it's just, it's symbolic of we're going too far right now with the sensitivity, you know, really. Does it really, really bother you? And if it well, does. Like, by it, the way, nothing. What? Bothers me. Like You, I know. I I'm not talking care, to you. Like, I mean, I, I must have a lazy eye. I'm not really looking. I'll look at the oh. camera. Does it really, really bother people? And I don't judge that your eye is lazy. Everyone has to, everyone <laughs> has to have their personal Stuff actually, somebody just I just tweeted something and it's right now, per- like right now, recently. How do, how do you do that? Recently, from my ass. <laughs> <laughs> so I said you know, something, you know, and then they came back and then they're, oh, you're this and you're that and you're this and you're that. That's what they told me, right? I said, uh, you're making this personal, so that's not my jam. That's all I said to them. So I move on. I mean, that's what they try to do. They try to get you where they can analyze you scrutinize you, tell you who you are, what your intent is, based on 240 characters in a tweet. They will decide that, you're, that you have some political beliefs, that you're a supporter of blank, a blank. It is unbelievable you're to me. You're a comic. Oh, I don't. I take nothing you say seriously. I mean, I mean, well, I, that's, I that's do. that's not good. No, it, I mean that in, in the nicest of ways. Like, you say it, and I'm like, <laughs> it's got to be a joke, right? <laughs> There's no way you could have That's the nightmare about being a comic. I get invited to weddings. I'll go, hey, pass the salt. He's going to do a, the whole thing about salt and pepper. Watch this. They think everything's going to turn into a bit. And I go, no, I just want the salt. The group? Salt and pepper? Huh? No, no, okay. no, 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 no. I want to see where you're going with that. Salt and pepper. That's <laughs> pepper. You got to get it right, white boy. So, <laughs> so you, see? See? you train like it's, it's ridiculous, the who's who. And I know you won't even name them. I might name a few. Well, there's a few I get jealous because you look, you're a straight guy. But sometimes <clears throat> what when you have I won't even mention the ass that I've seen in these machines of yours in your private place. I won't even mention names. LV. I won't even <laughs> mention <laughs> That was so subtle. So oh. I'm going, how in the world can you not now speaking of I know you get to know people really well. You're very friendly. A lot of people love you. 
Your son. <laughs> I know, more than me. And by the way, if your kids knew me, they would like me more. I'm sure. 100%. Yeah. And I'm sure. Because they oh, but that's the funny friend of dad's. My kids have heard your act and they love you. They think you're the funniest guy. And all of a sudden I'm like, he's not the, I mean, he's funny, guys, but that's an act. That's not him. They go, dad. <laughs> well, maybe they'll watch this podcast. For sure they will. So as they know I'm on it, not you. For sure. So, I mean, I just can't understand how this political correctness is just stopping things from, can you comment on looking at the ass? And do you comment to that person about their ass? You say, hey, I like to make that look good. It looks good now, but let me make it look better. I mean, we can't no, like, but sexualize things, like, things like but say, it's just being honest. It's just truthful. We all have these desires. We all lust. I say things like, well, you can bag that and just become a character. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can skip this exercise. Do just, hey, what does that mean? You do oh, not. I had one years ago, and I said to uh, a leading lady, very, very attractive leading lady. I know lady, who it is. I, pu- <laughs> I pushed, uh, I had a movement to, for her to do, and she goes. Is this the one that I was with a long time ago? Uh, negative ghost road, go, negative goat rider. <laughs> um, <laughs> she said, and she said, I don't want to do this. And I said, look, it's your ass. I mean, if you want, you can just be a character Whoa. actor. And she goes. My ass has nothing to do with my acting. And I go, really? I go, try gaining 60 pounds, see what kind of scripts come your way. <laughs> and oh, I wow. was kidding-ish, but I'm pointing out, like, you're here to continue on this path of greatness and gorgeousness that you're on. Let's not, let's not pretend like the body doesn't have something to do with why you get cast for certain yeah, roles. Yeah, let's not get into denial here. Yeah. You don't always have a part, to, you know, with makeup playing monster. Right. The other times you're playing a leading lady, right? Yep. You're gonna have to have. Yep. You're gonna have to have something that nobody's criticizing that ass, and they're it's, the ass is actually selling tickets. Like, Let's be honest. That's the thing is we're not being honest. Like the it, ass sells tickets. Like every business. Let's Same for put, guys. Let's put the best product into the marketplace, and if that's your body and your craft, and the two have to meet at. You know, Mount Greatness. Let's let's get let's get after that. Let's not pretend like you're not trying to make your body great. You're right. not just doing this for cardiovascular. And you can health. do one part, you know, Dallas Buyers Club, but then you got to go back to Matthew McConaughey in Magic Mike. You got to be, you know, showing that shit because that's what the women want and the men want it too. Yes, and the lesbians and the gay men. I mean, this is yes. what you want: is you want to be attracted to somebody. That's why they're on the screen. People say unless look, it's a character say, actor, say looks don't matter. But we are such a visual society. You can't pull out of this wherever we are, this maze the, of where this office is, without seeing a bus with a billboard on it, without seeing something oh. on your phone, without seeing a billboard. Like there's. It's everywhere, and your eyes are drawn to it. I have a neighbor here. I made fun of her in the audience. I didn't know. They all came up to me. They go, this is a country club. And I was performing, and and I'm making fun of her the whole time. They said, do you know who that is? I look her up. I met her afterwards. Look her up. Nine million. I am begging to get to 20,000 on Instagram. She has nine million followers, and and you you And all it is, all it is. Every day, I'll show you pictures. Actually, I just unfollowed her today because I'm done. Okay. I can't take how many asses pop up on my. It's either you or her ass. I chose you. I, it's every day is her ass in a new bathing suit because she's sponsored. You never hear a word from her. No cleverness. No, you know, no, uh, no great sayings from from Marcus Aurelius. I mean, there's just nothing except for this ass, and that has all those followers, all that money that comes with it. Influencer. And I'm writing jokes out the ass, and and what in the world? I can't. I'm, I get two followers at a time. But it makes no sense. So don't short, deny. Short lived. She's probably she's probably unhappy in her heart, and she's that's very short. Yeah, I like to tell myself that. <laughs> <laughs> I just drove by her house, new mansion. She said a new wing put on. She moon you? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't have to. Every day I feel like. So isn't I, that funny that back in the day. Mooning someone was such an insult. It was such a oh yeah. And now you scroll the gram and it's like moon moon. That's, like, all, that's, that's all, all it is. That's all it is. Did you did you moon when you were younger? Nonstop. I but you were a big I, mooner. I, I, I've never had that topic on the show before. <laughs> yeah. I love this topic. You know what's funny? Mooning. Had, you'll love this. I had a guy uh, who came uh, NBA player. Yeah, uh, I might be retired now, but he came to my gym. He dropped in one day. He wanted mm-hmm. to get back on the, on the schedule, and he just dropped in one day. I happened to be visiting my parents in Tennessee, and he mooned me 
and had somebody take a picture. And he was in my office at the gym and he sent me the picture. And he said, hey, where are you? And I said, and I wrote back, are you out of your mind sending me that picture? I will post that. And he goes, no, you won't. And I go, have we met? He goes, you would never post that. And I go, check the gram. And I posted it in two seconds. And, and I had so many people unfollow me, women who wrote, this is disgusting. Yeah. I thought you were, and I yeah. thought there are so many asses on Instagram nonstop. I just posted one. It was a guy moody. It was funny. And it was from a distance and whatever. Um, and then I took a corporate job. I don't want to say it because it would be indiscreet Lakers. And they said to me, Hey, there's something on your Instagram oh, from yeah. six months ago. Would you mind taking it off? I go, gosh, what is it? My stuff's pretty G rated. I mean, and they said, it's this. And I said, Oh my God. Yeah. No problem. I'll take it down. I didn't know. I, I had no idea that that was so beyond, offensive to some beyond people. I believe what's offensive but, to but, people. But you're telling me that this person who you offended now posts all the time and there are no complaints and she has 9 million followers and makes a living off of it. Makes a living off of I it. I posted one and it was a guy and it was actually hilarious. And right. I'm. That's because out. comedy, for some reason, is we are the court jesters. We're so disrespected. Do you know I did a video the other day and this poster was in the background? And it's a poster of a woman in a bikini. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a movie about marijuana. It was, I made the movie. It's a universal distributed, legit movie. And they said, you got to do the video over again. And I said, why? And they said, there's a poster in the background with a woman in a bikini. It was a feature film. It's a, yeah, and, I'm, and I couldn't defend it. They go, our corporate sponsors were not happy about that. I had to do the video over again. Yeah. That's how bad it is. And yet, what do we see on television every day? Nonstop weed. No, non, not weed. Uh, what about violence? What about see, the stuff that weed, really, you, really hurts? You see weed, violence, alcohol, sex, all these things, and they're going to call you out for that? I exactly, because I mean, comedians are truth tellers, and they do not want us telling the truth. They do not want us exposing. This is why you know that we're taken off instantly. I just had Sam Tripoli, a buddy of mine. He was just taken off Instagram. You post the wrong thing. And even though it's a joke, even though it doesn't matter, they will come after you. If you are pulling a curtain on their charade, on their fraud, that's what's great about podcasts. They can't come after us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Is that true? No, I don't know. You know, right. Joe Rogan's going to be next. He, he better, he better put that money away. He made all that money. Will they do that when he becomes president? Joe, oh, you think he's going to run for president? I don't know if he runs. I think they'll elect him without his running. I think somebody will keep filling his name in. <laughs> he's so popular, and he does such great stuff. Because he goes outside of the box. He's not, he's not corporately sponsored. This, we are so conditioned to think that, to mindlessly accept that you're showing all this violence on television every single day. Every day. And then they'll talk about misinformation. There's scripts that are out there of television shows you're watching with conspiracies and everything else. It's misinformation, but it's okay as long as it as there's money behind it, as there's right. studios behind it, if there's corporate you know sponsorships from drug companies and and insurance companies. If that's behind it, anything goes. You know, I was thinking the other day is like, you know, we have kids around the same age. You actually have a little one too. Yeah, you're even. Yeah, wow. Yeah, you have a younger one than I do. I got a uh, seven year old. You have a four. When I, when I was in the league, the guy not playing as a strength coach, um, the guy said, God, gee, you have no pull-out game. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I said, that's okay. You have no pull-up jumper. So we're tied right there. Uh, yeah, I have a – I was thinking about this, though. They always say that music also has bad influence. Remember, they would right. label records. Of course. When we were growing up, they never it's had that. Explicit lyrics. Explicit lyrics, right? And they say, they say you're going to influence – You know, when kids are younger – we sing Old MacDonald Had a Farm, E-I-E-I-O, we, the, the Farmer in the Dell. I don't know any farmers. The but Farmer they, in the Dell? Yeah, the Farmer in the Dell, the Farmer in the Dell. He was in Ohio, the Dell? Ohio, wherever he was. There's farmer oh, songs Dell. right and left. The there, the, okay, Farmer, what did I say? I thought you said the Farmer in a Dell. No, he was not in a Dell. He was in the Dell. I, wasn't sure where I don't even know what the Dell is, but all I know is I, never, I did not end up in a Dell or a farm, and neither did anyone who has sung these songs. So these songs are not influencing your kid <laughs> to become a farmer or to go... Gangsta the police or whatever, whatever, whatever your right. problem is. It's not influencing. What influences is the everyday pummeling and pummeling Nonstop. of our immune systems are compromised by this. It starts in the mind. Now, oh, doesn't I, your I, workout, guy, your workout start in the mind? First, you humiliate them and That's tell them so they're going to nice be an extra. 
oh, if they wow. don't work on their ass. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, did not, I just mentioned that perhaps they might end up in more of a character role. Can I write you some material? That'd be fun. Can you imagine? I'm going to put on my resume, I write for Gunnar Peterson, the trainer. Okay. All your humiliation lines, your heckle lines, those came from me. You can give me credit. It'll be great. Here's the thing. When they're in there with me training, I'm on their team. I'm on team fill in the blank. So right. anything I say is for them. It's their hour. Some, you know, some people, they don't want to do it. And, and my, they go, oh, do I have to do these? I go, no, you don't have to. We could bag it. If you could put your head on the pillow tonight and feel like you did everything you needed to do, I'm good. I'm going to sleep tonight. I worked out. And they go, oh, my God, I can't believe that. I'm going to do it. And then they'll do it. That's literally how I'm not going to bludgeon you into this. I can't believe you're going to make me do these. They get things. angry with you. Though. You no, have to have something to get angry But they go, I can't you. believe you're going to make me do these. I'm not making you. We don't have to. Right. We can hang Your it up choice. Right yeah. You're here by free will. It's so <laughs> you got, listen, we come from a business of narcissists, the highest level narcissists in the world. You... Tell me the truth. Did we go deep on this show? I, I, I know it's going to be hard I've for you. I've only been telling you the truth. Okay. No, but I mean, we're going to go a little deeper. Do you go to therapy and d to deal with these people? No. You, you don't? No. You don't go to any therapy? No. Something wrong with you. I work out all the time. There's something wrong and with I you speak, that you don't go to therapy. I speak my mind. You kind of, you kind of, you've something. There's, that's I, a, should go to I know that sounds a little weird. You I'm, should go to therapy I don't because go to therapy. you don't go to therapy. Yeah. You should find out what it is that makes you Are not you a go therapy to therapy. Are you therapy lobbyist? I have an agenda here. Right. I am paid by the Therapists of yeah. Union of America no, to I recruit. Out, look, I work out all the time. You and don't I'm, go I'm, to a therapist. I'm super open with people. I just, I talk. Honestly, directly to my wife, my kids. I got that. Okay, people, the All people right. I'm with. I don't. No, no therapy no. whatsoever. No. to deal with. Uh, no. Wow. All right, I, what? I, what? What if I said to you? I don't have time for that. <laughs> well, I know you. You got to make time. <laughs> well, well, I know. Yeah, exactly. Like you. I get, up, I get up at three forty-five in the morning. Well, you are into the body. I obviously am not. You. Uh, I don't know. You were in spinning class chasing ass. No, that's then. This is now. Now I have. I have boobs. And a belly. I look like a capital B from the side. From the side. Yeah. Lowercase? No, no. The capital. B. No, the capital B. So oh. the boobs are the upper. Yeah, I got it now. And I got the belly is the it. lower. I'm a capital B. Oh. I can make a G for you right here. <laughs> <laughs> so, I could cross that. So, so anyway, I don't enjoy working out anymore. Not that I ever did. I never really. I enjoyed it if I had motivation like catching the ass. If that's the case, yeah, it's, I, yeah, but and, being and, alone and, with you in a gym. If we reverse engineer that, what I yeah. try to say to people is if you can find a way to enjoy the process, the goals, the end result comes a lot faster. And, and it's also way more fleeting, right? Like you reach that peak condition that lasts however long it lasts. The process is ongoing. So you should find a way to, to, to enjoy it, to come to terms with it. Yeah, I It doesn't do. have to be so arduous. Maybe, maybe this is what so I'm here huge. for today. This is what you might be here for. Maybe I need the therapy. I'm here to see Justin. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> is Justin here, by the way? He's not here? That bastard. Let me check my text. Go ahead. You talk to the people. <laughs> Craig is checking his I'm text. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Bummer. I won't be able to make it. Oh, side hustle project. I'm going to tell him you are so, Gunner is so upset. Yeah, tell him I feel like you. <laughs> Oh, uh, wow. I can't believe that. Yeah, By the way, lot, typical, typical. A lot of lead in. Tease, yeah, tease you. Yeah, tease. Oh, I'm coming. Oh, God. Fumbled inside the 10 right there. <laughs> no kidding, right? That's right. Half the podcast is about him coming in. It is. You're like, oh, and, and, and boom. That's, that's how easily hey, they do it to hey, us. Just like that sponsor, let's reshoot this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you see how easily this generation does that? Change the name Justin to Randy in every single thing we mentioned. <laughs> bastard that's it i'm not getting him a job he's looking for a job right now another job is what you mean another job not yes getting him another job yes well actually what well, you did help him get the other job and he and he worked closely with and and he worked hard right worked so when i put a word and he, in and he it, was I'm, fun and he was fun to be around never got ruffled he was very cool and there was some you know they were going through some some changes at the time and he handled all of it let me ask you something your kids have never worked for you have they have your kids ever worked for you? No. Right? Correct. Probably could not. Oh, they could. But really? Yeah, they could. They, I can't not, even imagine it at this, this point. Is not where I think about it all the time, but 
I can't even imagine it. It's not where their interest is. It's not that. They don't know respect. They respect everybody but me. I hear, by the way, you're not the only one that has great ex- I hook them up with jobs. Great jobs. Everyone, oh, Justin. How's Justin doing? The other job, they just talked to him yesterday. How's Twilight doing? They call him Twilight because he looks like the guy from Twilight. Oh, wow. They yeah. Go, yeah right there. How's Twilight doing? Everybody's Patterson? got nicknames for him. Yeah. That's funny. Oh, yeah. They, knows, how's Right? And you probably worked him out, too. But I'm, everybody loves him. And I'm going, he won't literally, literally clean up a dish that he used oh, in but, our house. But he's showing up early over there mopping the floor. Exactly. <laughs> I'll stay late. I got it. I'll shut it down, he guys. Probably, he probably literally cleaned up LeBron Everything. James's vomit. Everything. LeBron. No, that's not. Uh, the, uh, don't, don't, don't get not, so serious. LeBron's now. not going to vomit. Are you kidding? Uh, well, so Justin, every, Justin, everybody vomits, by the way. Okay. Is that I'm not fact? just knocking LeBron James. I just I came sure. up with a name. It was on the Lakers, okay. you know, that everybody would know. That's where the reference came from. I'm teaching you comedy here. Everybody okay. knows the LeBron. Okay. They're, they're, I'm not going to go, hey, <laughs> you know, hey, he's clean up Dwight Howard's vomit. Well, they might know him. But anyway, the point is, yeah, he was cleaning up stuff. Oh, he was cleaning up. He was neatening. He was taking initiative. He was early. He stayed late. He was that guy. He, he told was, me he actually would look for things to do. Yes, he would. He would take initiative. And I would say, I go, dude, just chill. He goes, I want to do something. I go, there's nothing to do right now. We're good for a few minutes. He told me that you would tell him that all the time. All the time. I was there. I kept telling him because, you know, I'm trying to coach him. Yeah. I said, no, listen, no matter what Gunner says, find you work. overrule find and work. you find something else to do. You get, you take initiative. Because I tell people that work for me, take initiative. I say that to anyone who is listening right now or watching, take initiative. We love it as somebody who's. In yeah. charge, a leader. We love people that go for it, right? Yeah, find something to do. If I look, if I see something to do, and I see you're doing nothing, and I do it, or feel like I have to do it, I look and I go, "Why didn't you see that? How did I see that, and you didn't see that?" You know, you haven't seen my act in a while. The bits that you would love. Yeah, I write a lot of stuff about coaching kids in this generation. Is that stand up, Dad? Did I see that picture out there? I saw that plaque. It was out there. In the this week. one, Datitude. Oh, no. I saw one that said Stand Up Dad. Stand Up Dad's on TV show. Anyway, so this is, I have a whole bit about coaching Justin and Jared and Jackson in their sports. Okay. And dealing with parents. You would absolutely love it. I love it. I mean, you, did you ever coach your kids? Yes. yes. Like team sports? Correct, I did. And you grew, and you, they Basketball grew up. Basketball and football. Oh, geez. And they grew up in like. Yeah. Wussyville, right? Uh, yeah, 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 Wussyville. You can, 902 you, Wuss, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My friend had to coach football for mm-hmm. Beverly Hills High School. Oh, yeah. Oh, and he's a former NFL player. Oh, yeah, no, forget I, about Imagine that. that. No, I, that just, sh- that, that, that screams let down. <laughs> <laughs> let down? Yeah. He they he would be beaten seventy five to nothing. I mean, it was that bad. These oh. Beverly Hills kids, he couldn't even field a whole team. Yeah, I mean, it's it's like. But when you see this, when you talk about stereotypes, Beverly Hills meets the stereotype every time. You're not even it being ex- it exceeds it. it <laughs> yeah. I live there. I trust me. I know. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. So your kids were brought up there, and you're trying to coach. But my, kid, my kids aren't like that. I took my kids. They're to, not like that, but they're friends. But are. I took my kids to basketball camp at. Duke basketball camp for kids. And before that, I took him to a Nate James, Chris Carrawell camp and the kids bringing the ball down and he, and he turns and he bodies my son and knocks him over. And the gym was about, I don't know, 140 degrees, 110% humidity. My kid looked over at me like that. And I go, yeah, that's basketball. (laughs) Right. It was a non-contact sport, (laughs) but they changed and they learned to play. Oh, I love it. Yeah, me too. That was a, that was when I, when I taught the kids, you know, like I well, you're from you're from Philly. Oh, yeah. so <laughs> so you're t- take this ice pick. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go that far. A chair, right, okay. maybe a chair. It's like turns into wrestling. Here's another up. use for duct tape. We, we used to we used to play a, a game called Rough House. You know, remember Rough House growing up? Yes. You grew up in Chicago or something like that. No, no, no. I, I was in Texas, and then my family moved overseas. In Nashville and all that, or I don't know. But your family's in Nashville now, right? They're outside of Memphis, which we, is very okay. different. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> it is. Justin and I just drove through there. It, it, we had a game called Rough House in basketball where there are no fouls. So basically, when you get the ball, they punch you. <laughs> the, wow. They don't go for the ball. They go for your jaw. I mean, bam. 
Then they get the ball back. Then you bam them through the whole game. You score maybe two points as a total. To, so supposed waste, to go up to 21. So waste of time to work on your free throws. Exactly. There are no free throws. <laughs> no, there's a free throw once you make a basket. Then you start with a basket. Then you go here and here. You get the three different shots at it. But so I would, when I coached this all star team, I actually said to them, look, you need fundamentals. They don't even know what that word is. You know how they play here? Take it to the three point line and launch it up. It doesn't matter if there's four people on you and there's right. somebody under the basket. Yeah. They will launch it up yeah. from three points. It's all they know. Or they mimic stuff they see yes. in ESPN highlights. And I used to say to them, I, when I coach them, I'd pull them and say, guys, you don't have that shot. That's not in your <laughs> repertoire. That arrow is not in your quiver. Don't don't throw that again. Let's do this. And, and then they'll celebrate. The, that whole thing drives me nuts. Well, and then the worst part is if one of them happens to go in, then that means they're going to just take that shot you, 20 more times. You created a monster. Correct. Yes. And then the parents cheering for them. Yes. I had one, three strikes, doesn't move an inch, covered in Kevlar, looks like he's ready for Hurt Locker, yep. right? <laughs> yep. In baseball. Right. Doesn't move an inch. Five mothers. Good try. Good try, Harrison. Good eye. I'm like, <laughs> try? Three straight strikes? He didn't move an inch. Try if, he, if he's trying to be a statue, he's a winner. There are no winners. There are no losers. Of course there's losers. Of course, yeah. I How do you think I became a comedian? From I, winning? There's a lot of losses brought me here. I have, <laughs> Yeah, I, I have a huge problem with the not keeping score part, at which, which happened in one of the basketball leagues my kids played in growing up. And my kid, we'd walk out of there and he'd go, Dad, we won. i go, no, you got crushed. Go, no, no, Dad, you didn't see I made the basket. Yeah, you made a basket. But the other team made 15. You mean, you, we got crushed, and and they didn't promote it that way, and and I think you're setting them up for such problems. So oh. such problems, so. and because then they have imagine them applying for a job, and they've been told your whole life you're a winner. There are you know you can't fail. Well, imagine them, praising uh, them for stuff that, that they're really bad at. They apply for the fourth job in a row, right? And the and, same result. And it, it, did they bring their mom to the interview? And the guy goes, "We can't use you, mom." Do I get a trophy for this him, interview? Tell, <laughs> tell him, mom, you told me I'm a winner. And then the mother protects the kid and like yells at the boss how and says, dare "How not dare you not hire my son. son? This is what it's turning into." Yeah. I, I'm telling you, I'm I'm re I'm ready to I'm ready to pull my hair out. I, what's left? I, I'm going nuts with the – so I can't even coach anymore. It's so bad because the parents, now they have a thing because of, well, the, and, of and, the heckling. And because your son's in his 20s. Well, no, I have other kids, you know. I, I'm like I you. Do, I've, I do. That, see, the first rule of that is for you not to crush that. Like, What? To crush your joke? Yeah, that was – oh, oh, right, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, your yeah, kid's 23. Right, uh, da -dum, ba -dum, bum. Why, uh, I should have left it at that. You should have. Good night, everybody. That's it was Gunnar yeah. Peterson. He'll be here all day. Got to go. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, but what are we telling them with no, no outs and no runs? You know, I was coaching one time, and I took over for this coach. And by the way, when there's a bad coach and you're in the stands watching your kid every week, you know the fundamentals aren't there. I was going out of my mind. Yeah, I did the same. And then my son would yell at me for going out of my mind. It was <laughs> right. bad enough that the coach was eyeballing me. My, my son is like telling me, Dad, shut up. Shut up, Dad. My son, Justin, who you know, 10 years old, was giving me the cut sign. Yeah. That thing on the throat yep. that cut the throat. I'm telling him, I said, follow through. <laughs> he's, doing, he's doing this to me. I go, yeah. did you just, now we're arguing. Yeah. He's on the mound. I'm going, did you just give me that sign? And people are looking at me, I'm nuts. And you know what they had to have? A culture keeper. That's not a thing. Oh, you just, that is you think I made thing. that up? You think I made that up? I don't know. It's an, I, I a, it's got, an alliteration. So I thought you were running. Oh, with that you thought comedian here came <laughs> up with. Of course. And they've got culture keepers. Yeah. See, you do know how comedy works. That's how it works. Well, it's a hard concept. They too. really, very good. Ooh, very well. It's like you took my course. You know, I teach this I, course. I, and you know. Yes, I do. I teach people how to alchemize humor and develop yeah. their sense of humor. And it works in life, period. And period. look at you. You I already think, know one of my secrets. I think, I'll give you another one. That was uh, Neil Simon. Remember the, the bit I, that's right. K's are funny. I added B's and P's. Hard consonants. You remember? Now, B, P, T stop plosives. And T's. B, like, remember the bit I used to do? When you used to get a gift and you got to pretend you love it, you know, because it's really for the woman. Yeah. So it's like a shower gift or wedding shower. And you're going, ooh, a bowl. Yeah. You don't know how much <laughs> I yeah. wanted. Oh, yeah, I do remember that. The bowl. Bowl. bowl right? Yeah. People would buy me bowls. You know what bit I remember? Because of the way, it's the way that you hang say on, it. With the, on, let's the, bring the, back one of your what? great things. What do you got? I got two for you. 
Uh, which one I use every time I travel. When my seat goes back that far and they go, sir, would you please put your seat up in the upright position? I go, yeah, because the difference between this and this, if we crash, is I'm going to survive. That was one of your bits, correct? Yeah, I added to it. Too. Yeah, I got a, and, the, and the, the tray table. Have you ever met anybody in your life? You go, what happened to you? And they're there with half a, I, got a, I, got a, I got hit by a tray table. I'm never going to see out of this eye again or whatever. Right? Yeah. Didn't know that. And the other one. I have a new one, by the way. I do this once in a while where they say turn off your cell phone when you're on the tarmac. But they don't because, check. They because, don't. No, it's going to affect the tower. Sure. I said, meanwhile, there's people in the aisle, like like right outside the plane, like 20 feet away on their cell phone. Right. But 8B took the fucking plane down. <laughs> but, but, but they don't. <laughs> so here's how you know it's not that important because they don't confiscate your phones no. or come by and check personally each one they tell you and they just take you at your word. Like they trust you. Stop. It, it, it's, it's, it's bullshit. Hang on. The other Control one you did, stuff. I don't okay, want to forget it. What? You talk about your heritage and you go... I'm Irish, German, German Irish. and American yeah. Indian. Then you pause and you go, no drinking there. No drinking in my family. That's the alcoholic trifecta. Hilarious. I was born. They cut the cord. They found an olive. That's right. My first breath was a .23. <laughs> I'm bringing all this back. Look baby. at this. this <laughs> stuff, priceless and timeless. Then I found out I did 23 Me, I have a whole new act that I'm 14% Ghana. I have to leave now. I'm from Africa. <laughs> I'm from Africa. I'm black. I would have given you that. I, I know, but I have a whole bit about that now. You, you got to come see my new act, for God's sake. I will Connor, see It's it. been too many years. I will see How about it. I'll come see you and work and, out? And do it there. Oh, we could, <laughs> we could have a... You should have all of your clients. Yep. You have a party. You have a comedy Let's party. And we'll combine... I'll do the, a fight night. We'll do, my, laugh, we'll, do a fight night at my house. We'll and do you laugh lunges. That. Okay. Okay. Laugh like you do the lunges while you're yep. going... <laughs> That'll make working out. This is a great idea. This is better than core secrets. <laughs> oh, this, which was not alliteration, by the way. Take it easy at all. I know. No, yeah, it'd be core concepts. I could sore, go with core concepts. Been, I would have bought that all day long. Been sore but secrets, core the secrets. Whole thing about okay. herpes. <laughs> <laughs> sore secrets. <laughs> that would have sold. Can you imagine these? Are the, these <laughs> proactive. Hang on. Thanks for bringing it back. Proactive is the product that Gussie Raker got behind, and I'm not saying it works on sores, but it definitely was an. A, a, a popular uh, acne product. <laughs> oh, I just love sword secrets. I think that's fantastic. And that doesn't even have K's. Bees are funny. Peas are funny, Gunner. Okay. I'm right. I've got take, all these try, techniques that I'm teaching I'm not people now. This. I know. They're bowl. Yeah. It's funnier than soup terrine. Bowl. Bowl. Weak. Potpourri. Remember, I did a bit about potpourri. Of course I did. You, <laughs> you talked about, uh, can I say lesbian? You talked you can about say anything. You talked about, I did. You did. You had a thing that. about lesbians and potpourri. That's how you. I did a, not. No, you threw out. That's a different comic. No, I had nothing about I lesbians and potpourri. Comic. Uh, there was nothing. What's the? I don't even know the it association. Was it was something about what they put in the potpourri. Or something. It was hilarious. Potpourri. It was no, hot. I said. 100%. I said. It, Have really, I been I wrong said, on one of I your said, jokes? No, yet? here it goes. It's, it was something like, it's, it smells like you're taking a dump in the woods. <laughs> I, I need something. No, no, hey, you said, uh, I need something. You said, I need, you said, I need something that's called cuts th through, through shit. shit. There it is. Did I get it? There it don't is. Tell me There's I nothing about that. a lesbian in that joke. <laughs> you had me thrown off. I was, I was trying to remember my own material. Yeah, it should I'll say cuts I'll, through I'll handle shit. your material for you. Yes, <laughs> I had a whole bunch of stuff about, but that was me then, and now I've got this this uh, whole other act, which is your act too. I have a bit about being an older dad. Now I try to tease you on a text message, and you're like, you know, oh, oh yeah, that's what I, I, yeah, I'm, 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 you're going to try to say I got offended. <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> you, know, so, oh, I, you know, it doesn't matter how old I am. I'm in great shape and all this shit. I, well, I, I I'm not. not. Right I probably wrote eat a dick. <laughs> that's probably what I wrote. <laughs> it was something like I was trying to say you were a, do a Dodd, a member of the Dodds, the dusty old dads. There's a bunch of us. I thought it was a typo. No. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a love. Master. You're in the Dodds, baby. You're in the dusty old dads. But you're, but you're like came back. Oh no, I'm in great shape. I know you are. So I how about we? Write that. Why don't we combine forces and do the comedy foreskins? No, no forces. Oh, okay. Forces. You have literally. That's the hair. The headphones. Now I just remembered how perverted you are. <laughs> The days before you porn and porn hub, you were my hub. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I have to burn my phone. <clears throat> you literally were my porn hub. You would send it stuff all the time. I'm going, this guy's unbelievable. He's a total perv. 
but you, here's you would the thing. send me stuff but, that I but, still but remember. Cypheria. And, <laughs> do you remember her? Duh. In all, what do you mean, duh? Who is yes. she? I, right? <laughs> yes. Listen, I can't, here's the thing. This I've is probably ne- 20 years I've ago, never, and I still remember her name. I've never Googled or gone on any of those sites. Everything I send is something that landed on my phone from some other twisted yes. bastard. Some other twisted bastard, And yeah. I get it, and I shoot it out. And then... Some, yes, then, you do. And, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, and I'm demanding. I don't know. I don't and, know and about this comes, podcast if this is ever going to see the light of day. <laughs> but then it comes back. Then you send it to 12 people. Four of them send you something new, and I go, stand by. And I said, all Stand that by. Way. And my wife goes, what are you doing? I go, forwarding crazy stuff that's sent to me, babe. I didn't do anything. I just it lands on just my phone. Just forwarding. Yeah, yeah. But you were one of my sources in don't the shoot beginning. The messen- don't shoot the messenger. That was when it was like really verboten. I mean, to send that stuff out. Because well, that's well, how. I still email. remember, or literally, I remember vividly, you know, your address. I remember you were Earthlink. I was Earthlink. I, I was would, the last I, guy on Earthlink. I got the last guy on Earthlink yep. sending porn, which was the last porn of its kind. Right. Went Big down. bushes. I went down. Oh, 60s <laughs> porn bush. I went down with the ship. I went, it was the last guy with you that. Did, you did. Yeah. But, but, you know, that's another. So we're talking about people, you know, obviously judging this, what we're our discussion right now. But. This is what yeah, I'm down to six followers now because of this. This <laughs> there's not six people even listening. If this is what really concerns me is is how we are programmed and conditioned to object to this even this conversation as if just turn it off as if every well there's that too keep scrolling turn it off but as don't if turn on, don't you tune don't, in the first time you know there's nothing that should be offensive because there's nothing that you have not thought of and it's an elective you, have, you out there who's ever listening have thought of the most perverse things ever imaginable this is an elective my opinion is absolutely my opinion or even experience is they're projecting the stuff that they don't want to analyze with them themselves they don't want to see these things in themselves i think i know based on my successful marriage now, now, is the more honest you are, the better and a more authentic your relationship is. All day long. I agree. Like you telling, you telling your wife, her watching this and hearing about you sending on porn or you, whatever it is, that, that's fantastic because you, you're absolutely being honest. I and women send, always I, say it's I the number one thing they her. want is they want honesty. I sent it to her. I remember that in my act. I said, do you really want us to be completely honest? Show right back. OMG or show right back. Babe. No, yeah, I do remember that part of the act. <laughs> what was yeah. it? Yeah, you, yeah. I've always wanted, what was the bit I used to do about being honest? They'd say, yeah, your sister's hot. And then <laughs> I'm wonder, I'd love to bang your sister. I'm just being honest. <laughs> yeah, that's what you asked for, something like that. But um, you, they really don't want honesty. But- you should want it. You know, I said the other day, I had a little analogy. Do you have pets? Yeah, I, got, well, I have big dogs, and my wife has a little, right. like, hybrid squirrel thing. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it looks like a dog. What are those? Know, it looks, oh, it just drives it me nuts. It doesn't weigh. And, like, literally, I have shoes that weigh more. It's cute, and that dog has run out of the house. The three bigs we Isn't have. Isn't that amazing? The bigs have the kitchen in the backyard. They're just too messy. So the bigs. Mm-hmm. You like play with them. You they fetch right. I have, I have one dog. You get uh, in, you get in there he, with him. He gets on. We put him on Instagram a lot. He weighs two hundred seventy three pounds. Oh jeez, he's he's uh, that's, huge. That's enormous. Yeah, but yeah, I'm not. So way. if I see a dog in the street, you go up and you pet it. You go, wow, this beautiful dog, mm-hmm. right? Not nobody has any judgment. Think about that. No judgment whatsoever. As a matter of fact, they say, would you like to pet my dog? They have that too. Imagine because they're a good looking dog, right? Imagine if that was a woman. <laughs> hey, would you like to pet me? <laughs> What's it? What, would you? Hey, how about I turn over? I love it on my back. I mean, so me saying that's a good-looking dog should have the same equality as me saying it about a woman. I'm not going to go fuck either one of them. That's uh, and now I feel more comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, once I eliminated that possibility, right. now that that's out, I can. I I was quiet for a second. I think about that as men as visual creatures. You must let us be visual. A hundred percent. And you, there, look, not to, I don't want to be disrespectful. And you, to well, my wife, talk about another comic on a comic show. Oh, but okay. Remember Andrew Dice Clay used to do a bit about that. The woman walking on the beach and she's like, what are you looking at? And he's like, you're wearing that. You know exactly what I'm looking at. But he does it. He, right. Yeah. He does not going to try to quote him, but you know what I'm saying? Like, why can't I look at, you're wearing that. Yeah. Wear, wear armor. Wear armor, like from the Renaissance. Chain, chain mail suit. 
that's something like where Shane, you, wait, if that, you don't want me, I, fitting, by the way, I'll still look though because I'll go. Wait a minute, she's wearing armor. But I mean, why is that chick wearing chainmail? It's kind of hot. I do kind of like that. I don't see that very often. I see the, the, the bikini ass so all the time. Tired of the bikinis and the I'm asses so on sick Instagram. Of that. Oh my god! I'm so tired I'm of asses on Instagram. I'm literally you, starting to defri- unfriend them. I don't even want to see them anymore. But if they start posting in chainmail, I'm all over that. The other thing is that drives me nuts is. I've got this thing inside of me. It's like, you know, it's been with me my whole life. I'm not an observer. Is it like, a tumor? I don't like, I don't like, um, like museums. I like them a little bit, but I always think I want that. You know, you stand, you stand, you stand in front of a thing. You go, that's a good looking, that's a good looking uh, sculpture. I want that. I have but to that's have one that. Of the, so it's hard for me to covet. I was going to say the Bible says don't covet, right? I don't give a fuck what the Bible says. I'm just always trying to, you know. Does anybody to... really follow those rules? Oh, there are a few that you should. I mean, I don't yeah, know. the murder mm, <laughs> depends. <laughs> wow, well, I'd say that's subjective. Okay, that's fair. That's your opinion. You're fine. What was that movie? Wasn't that Brad Pitt's uh, Seven Deadly Sins? What was that movie? Twelve Monkeys. I don't know. <laughs> It's Bruce it. Willis, I used to say one of your, one of your number movies. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the one Brad Pitt did. Do you work him out too, Bruce, Bruce Willis? Is he one of your clients too? I worked with Bruce for fourteen years. One of the no. best dudes of all time. I know, I've heard of, that of all time. Yeah, Literally. funny is, I mean, he's right up your alley. Hilarious and dry. Oh. And, oh, right. And that little line he does with the smirk, he goes, "What are you guys doing?" <laughs> it's just like no matter what you're doing. It's always fun. A little bit of Philly in him, by the way. He's right across the bridge in yeah, Jersey. Yeah. Jersey, yeah. yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. But, but it's Philly Jersey, not North Jersey, like New York. Okay, he's Philly Jersey, yeah, that's your like Pensbury, right, right around there. It, there, is, there is something to be said about, do you find out when you work out people that they're, they're, you can definitely feel their region where they're from? No, because I wouldn't know stuff like that. He's a, a very Jersey, New York, East Coast for sure. He's that guy. Right. You wouldn't know it about someone else, where they're from? No, I would, but I wouldn't know, like, the, the way you just broke down North Jersey, this Philly. Oh, you wouldn't the know river. the difference. No. Yeah, but I you wouldn't. can tell a general boston East Coast-y yes. versus Midwest. For sure. Versus Seattle. Yeah. Which you get people from everywhere. You all get to over, all over the world. All over the world. Yeah. And how do people come to you? Uh, references? It's Usually almost by a, car. Uh, oh, oh, my God. You just said, that? Oh my no, shit. you're out of my comedy class. <laughs> now you're done. You're, done. you're out of the comedy class. Why? Did see, you really car say is that? a hard C. It's a concert. <laughs> it's a, I was using car. Uh, now they come. It's, it's usually word of mouth. It's usually word of mouth. Yeah, it has to be. It can't be usually. I've never seen a, a single flyer up on a... They do that anymore? A phone flyer. pole? I, a I flyer that, on a phone pole? I said pole. that once to my wife, and she gave me this. Like, I go, babe, it's not like I could put flyers under people's windshields at the Beverly Center. That's what we used to do. And she goes, what? Did you really? Did you do that? I said, no, no, I didn't do that. I knew I knew a kid who did that, and I told him, I go, that's a bad idea. You don't know what you're going to draw. you got to be careful with that. you got to be more selective. And he, said, oh, what a, he, he shot me down, and he's out of the business now, so mm. I was right. But, yeah. no, I did use that. I, I broke that down to my wife, and she's like, what? I thought, oh, I just dated myself. Do you do you usually, it looks to me that you, you do one-on-one. Only. Oh, yeah. Only. Yeah, I mean, sometimes people A couple bring, of them, like, bring a friend yeah, or that, something. That like, they're working with someone in a movie. Do they ever do that? It has happened. Um, doesn't always that way. It doesn't always go that way. And have you ever had a case where they run into one another and they don't like... like it's the hardest part of my business is scheduling. Yeah. Who knows who, who dated who, who might know who. You're right. This whole town's who. dated one another. you got to be careful with that. And I, th- and I throw it out v- v- right out of the gate. I say... Is there anybody that you shouldn't or would rather not run into? And they go, <laughs> "This is in your intake form." Yeah, that's right. right. No, it is not. Tell me, that's part of it. One hundred percent, it is. It's all about. It's their time. It's they want you want them to be able to be completely in the moment. Sure. So we talk about sports injuries. Talk about sleep habits. I talk about eating, hydration, supplementation, drug use, smoking, all that stuff. And I go, "Look, I don't judge. I just need to make sure I'm, I'm working within certain parameters." And then I go, yeah. "Is there anybody that you shouldn't or would rather not see here?" You cross even, and and I usually get a funny look, and they go, no, why would you say that? I go, I don't know. I don't ever Google people either. Like, if I get a call from somebody, I don't know that that person, I mean, if it's a household name, obviously, but if it's somebody I don't know. Or they're on the rise, or they have a new hit series. Exactly, exactly. You don't really know. Cause I, don't, I don't know, and I don't watch. You're still watching Hogan's Heroes. <laughs> it's a terrific show. Uh, I loved you on it. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I don't know, so so I have to ask that, and then you'll get the weird, and they 
it, the knee jerk is always just, no, I'm fine with anybody. And then there's a moment and they'll go, I mean, I'd rather not, but I'd be, I'd be fine with, and then they'll throw out a name and I go, yeah, no problem. But if it's somebody that I have to think, I've got, I want to make sure I want everybody to have a great time. Look, the whole thing is positive association. You want them to have a good time. And that starts from when they pull in to when they right. leave. Do you have any clients that are bitter towards you? I'm not going to ask you to name names, but I probably will. Do you have anyone that you just had a, you just didn't see eye to eye and they're just like, no. No, yeah. usually that's a, um, it's a mutual thing. It's, you realize that they're probably, uh, the way I work or the way my personality is doesn't jive well with them and then they'll just phase out or it doesn't get acrimonious. It's you, not like but no mudslinging. It's no mudslinging. You've got to have somebody that thinks you're sexist. Fuck you, Gunner, and <laughs> walks out. Somebody now. thinks you're a homophobe or sexist. Come on. What? Are the jokes you tell? What? It's 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 one, you know, cock in the mouth after another. <laughs> somebody. There's people on my podcast that That's won't see me anymore. Let alone people? you. <laughs> let alone you say... No, really, that can't no, go feel over with I everyone. I don't oh, you lead feel it with out. that. I don't. That's not. I didn't say you led with it. That's not workout number one. That's like workout number five. And I, I test the water. These right? are the ultimate woke bullshit virtue signalers, Hollywood. You're working with Hollywood. Were you there today? <laughs> How many did you have today? So they've got to be like, but I, you, you have like to, ready look, to report you. But we, no, me too. <laughs> tags. <laughs> we, uh, I. You stay away from politics. You stay away from religion. Right. You stay away from that. And if people want to vent, no problem. I hear that. And I can't, I can't. You're like a, you're like a hairstylist. That. I got, I got to be like these things. I got, it's just got a reverb off me. I can't process all that and then go home and, and, and carry all that. It's too but much. But the dirty stuff. I mean, you've been doing that, your, my, that. the whole time. No, I've, wait, the whole time I've known you. You, do, you thought, already brought it out on me. If you listen to any of my other podcasts, none of them took this direction. How sad. Not even, <laughs> not even close. You wonder why have, you have, have, I, have I gone in this? I've never even said the word cock before. I've said it four <laughs> times in this one podcast. <laughs> Look what you brought out of me, but I can't imagine like some of these woke, woke celebrities. I mean, I can't even think about you saying something to them while they're up on a machine oh, yeah. and they're vulnerable That's when I do and it. their legs are spread. I don't, I don't go to, I never go like that. So I never make it sexual. Uh, even What? I, no, I don't. I'm not about that. I guess I've never really worked out with you except for uh -huh. the, yeah, you were serious in the spin class. You didn't do anything. I try to push inappropriate. No, 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 no. Well, Sundays was naked spinning. Ah, at my where house. was I for Soleil Moon <laughs> at Fry my, on that was, one? Was at my house. I would have loved to see that moon. <laughs> Just privates. Oh no. <laughs> so to speak. So nobody is, no, I don't really know. like. Also, Hollywood's phony. They probably have their publicists talk to you. Could you imagine? No, um, they would. You offended my client at ten a.m. this morning. I'd go what? No, you, seriously, you've had I've, to have I've had a publicist never, call. Zero. I've never oh, had that. Really, God. Yeah. I usually let them set the tone, and you hear some stuff when they're in, when they're compromised or you know in physical duress. Sometimes they say some stuff like it comes out. Oh man, I love that. It makes it honest it makes it fun what about the coming on to Do you, you know though? How, no i don't get that you know what oh I did? No, no look how fast you went by that i know three three different women that ended up with their trainers three yeah, not me and that's just and it's almost like the nanny for the guy <laughs> this this is like how dare you call me Jude it, it's the, it's the trainer as he uh, yeah that, you know, that was the whole thing the nanny yeah Oh, well, yeah, Robin Williams, Joe Piscopo. There's a long list of people that end up with their name. Oh, the maid, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> like, wow. Yeah, it's just throw the god of bodybuilding under the bus right there. Under the bus. That's a true thing. But did I call her the wrong? Maybe uh, cleaning woman? I don't know what the, Wait, whatever the segue, case is. Let's segue to another comment, uh, okay. another comic. Uh, have you ever, I know you've heard the Bill Burr, Arnold Schwarzenegger bit, the four minutes? No. Apart from your stuff, it may be four of the most hilarious minutes in comedy. It's Bill Burr talking about? Just do. It's on one of his Bill specials. Bill Burr talking about just, just Arnold? Google Bill Burr, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and there's a YouTube clip that's going to come out. For, I'll watch it with you. Every single line is a dig, and it's honestly- On Arnold. Oh, yeah. And it it talks- It's. A, I'm not going to- I won't do it justice. I won't even try. It's worth the four-minute list. Oh, I'll do that. Yeah, it's hilarious. You know, I, I, there's a bit that you, I don't think you've ever heard this one, too. I have a bit with Arnold. I'm dying a, a to true, come. A I true story. To, I am coming to your show. About me being on the Magic Johnson show. When and Magic Arnold, had the talk show? And Arnold, I was his co-host. This and is Sheely, when I was hanging Sheely with you. And E was the yes, band? Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. This is when I was hanging yeah, out yeah, with yeah, you. Yeah, I can't, yeah, yeah. And 
I was the co-host, and I was supposed to tell him jokes, but every time I ch- joke, he would go, oh, Craig, <laughs> I you are yes, bad, yes, Craig. Yes, yes, And then, so, but the opening guest was Arnold Schwarzenegger. Great. That's great. At that time, that's you can't be, pull bigger than that. Oh, yeah? Well, listen, what I, so, first of all, I have a whole bit about this, and you would love it. It's a total story of failure. My, It was the worst. It was the worst days. I'll tell you another time. It is really funny shit. But the one part is, that's true, is, so I'm sitting there, you know, I'm a poor kid from Philadelphia, grew up no means, you know, all that. And I'm sitting with these two legends, like you just said. Oh, legends. legends. Legends, like top, you top. And you got to go back to that moment. They were top of their game, top of their field. Top of the field. Like like legends. And also physically yeah. very imposing. Both of them. Magic 6 nine, Very right? big guy, yes. But Arnold, Arnold 6 two, just, just confidence yeah. and the whole deal yeah. and how they got there. They came from nothing. The whole deal. Yep. I'm sitting there, little Craig Shoemaker, sitting there going, wow, I'm with two legends on national television. I'm the close. I'm sitting there, three of us. Right at the I've made team. it. You're like, I've I made it. Exactly. I had a moment where I went, and then I realized, I think I have to be the UN translator with these two. Because <laughs> this, this is their conversation. They did a Hollywood kiss-ass conversation. Now, imagine I'm sitting there. Wondering what to say to, to, to this. Arnold, the reason I had you as a guest on my premier talk show, you make a lot of money for a lot of the needy people. Folks, don't he give it up for the needy people? Yeah, yeah. No, my, you're the one. You, yeah, you're the one who give back all the time. You get the AIDS awareness, the Magic Johnson dealer in the hood, helping the kids in California. If I close my eyes. Come on, I'm Arnold. There. You're the one with them Special Olympics. Help out those needy kids. And I'm sitting there thinking, how am I going to blend in? So I, <laughs> <laughs> I lean over. I'm Almost gave a buck to a homeless guy. He didn't have change for a ten. Oh, Craig, you are bad. <laughs> that's, that's what. He, that's every what time I say you? something, I go, oh, you are bad. Now he's not going to come on the show. He would always say someone wasn't going to come on the show if right, I made right. fun of them because he didn't want to look bad. Like Arnold, like uh, Michael Clark Duncan was in Armageddon. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Remember this? And Magic is reading a cue card, going, "Now up next from the movie Armageddon to <laughs> Now he is from Armageddon to Armageddon to Craig. How do you say that word? I say, just say end of the world. It's the end of my career. And it was. was <laughs> just say end of my career. I mean, the world. Yeah, it was, it was both. So, uh, wow. yeah, that was, that was, uh, that was brilliant days. But when you said Arnold Two Schwarzenegger. Legends. Legends. And that, but that was the end. That was the, it was the beginning and the end. I was just sitting there. And that goes to show you how fame is so fleeting. Yeah. Even though yours has lasted for years and years. Wow. Fame goes. Wow. Pew, I don't know that I have fame, but well, you're, I, you just keep working, right? To me, you just... I, I keep working, but I don't right. make nearly... I'm sitting here in a room with posters about you and newspaper clippings and movies. Yeah, well, with, it, meanwhile, it looks like it's from the Civil War, the New York Times here. It's oh, in sepia. I actually thought this, that was Michael Keaton in that the, thing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. That's in sepia. Could, That's fine. It says sitcom waiting but, to happen. But so me that, I'm waiting. <laughs> it's from the so 90s. Me, but so me, that just shows, that shows tenure. That shows that you've been around... And you're still doing it. You can't knock this. I'm not going to guess you up, but like, there's a lot of stuff here from back then and current. Yes. And you're evolving. Look, you said I did radio. I did radio. Radio's dead. Now you're doing podcasts. That shows to me an adaptability. Absolutely. So let's not like play. How long are you going to hang on to that? I was a poor kid from Philly shtick. Like, come <laughs> on, so cut that shit out. I said then I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, then I, I'm not a poor kid from Philly anymore. But let me tell you something, a little secret to comedy. I never want to let certain things go because that's what fuels me. If you don't think that I, you think that I'm going, whoa, look at this. I'm driving an unbelievable car and I'm in a beautiful neighborhood and all that. You think I'm actually thinking that? No, I'm still that guy. You feel that uh, imposter syndrome. Exactly. Yeah. I'm still that guy. No, you feel that No, now? not an imposter because I'll i not. Look, I'll be honest with you. You know, I'm not, be this, you this, is not saying, this is not saying cocky. I really, that's another I'm, cock re- reference, I'm really good. That's, another that's cock number reference. seven. <laughs> I'm really good at the things that I do. I mean, master a lot of, no love master, mastering these things. Tens of thousands of hours. How great would the world have be if, if have everybody been. would just stay in their lane and stay, be great right. at that? Stay in there, get good be at Be really, something. really good at and something. And when you're really Even, good at it, if you're tired of it, transition. Shift. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Fields, I mean. All right, right. Uh, but but <laughs> if not, to try and do four, five, six, eight things at once, you're probably going to come up short. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I have no, no limits is how I live. I don't want to have any limits. But it's fueled by, this is what I'm trying to get at, it's fueled by the, the humility, the humble moments, the, the humbling moments. That's what keeps me going 
is because I never want to go back there. And to have that thirst and have that starvation, because it was literally eight lima beans and shit on a shingle and all that kind of stuff. So it makes me go, you don't know what that is? Of course I do. Stop it. Do you really? Of course you I do. You gave me a look like you didn't know what it was. That's another shit reference. I just can't <laughs> believe how you digress. Oh, all of, a sudden, on, all of a sudden, I'm on PBS and he's uh, scrutinizing look, me over here. Are, John Houseman. There are Emmys in this room. It doesn't matter. Right. Let's you know not, what the most important award is? That one right there. The horse's ass. Oh, I was going to say, I thought there was something from your kids. No, the horse's ass that I got at my ex-wife's family reunion. It is my most cherished, earned prize that I've ever had. (laughs) I earned that horse's ass. Every day. See right there, the Clark family reunion, baby. Oh, yeah, they hate me. It's awesome. (laughs) Do they really hate you? Oh, God. That's so rough, isn't Isn't it? Isn't it, though? You just want to go two people don't get along and they went through whatever they went through. It's harder for you two than it is for anybody else for them to make this about them, for them to carry that animosity going forward. Like, stop it. Stop it. Well, you know, it's let it go for the grandkids caused by my ex-wife would never stop, never stop vilifying, demonizing, accusing all that stuff. Can't stop. I finally let go of defending though. That was a very important moment in my life. Very recently, like two days ago. That's why, go, that's why I don't go to therapy. I'm just listening to you, and I'm going, I could be better. <laughs> I'm glad I'm your motivation. You need to motivate me. I want to come down to your studio and work oh, out. Name it. Tell me how much you charge. I want to know what you charge these days. It's got to be it, unbelievable. It would be as much of an honor as it was to work with Justin. It would be an honor. Come in tomorrow at 11 o'clock. I just had a guy literally as I'm driving up here cancel. Oh, no. Oh, I got. Remember, the, did you hear outside? I have an audition exactly at 11, maybe on the way home. <laughs> I'll stop in your Beverly Hills place. Now, what do you charge? Tell the truth. We never it, talk about that. We we never do? We. Maybe. Yeah, you and your associates and, and accountants associate. and things like that. My accountants. That's so cute. Uh, that's <laughs> plural. So cute. Plural. <laughs> it's, it is cute. That's a, Honey, he's talking about you. <laughs> so, all right. We have to wrap up like an hour ago, by the way. This went way over. Okay. I do want to come down. If you cut out all the cock references, where do you think we'd be on time? Do you lift one workout together? It's going to be, it's, we're going to be, let it fly. Right. Yeah. Let it fly. But there's nobody else in there. I'll make sure that the gym is free. You can video it. You can record oh, it. That's a good do idea. Do the whole thing. This will be the first time I ever did a podcast where we actually went remote. Oh, the, how about that? We're the remotes. On location. On, we're on location, and we'll cut to it. Yeah. We're not just going to run this interview. We're going to yeah. – so we're talking about working out, yeah. and there I am. You don't yeah. want to see my legs spread, though. Yes. We could superimpose Lindsey oh, Vaughn or something like that. just had a visual. Uh, <laughs> it's huh. a bad visual. Huh. Bro, I'm out of shape. Come start. Start. Look. You know what I did do, though? The journey of a 1,000 miles begins with a single rep. Have you – Lao Tzu. I have, I have said, he didn't say rep. He said step, sorry. Yeah, exactly. It's, step, it's, it's, it's the same thing. I understand. It's comedy. You know what happened recently, though? Now, you're, we're men of a certain age. The testosterone's going down. Alpha Gym. And I started. Do you know that product? No. And I'm, not, I'm not sponsored by Look at that. Look how quick I threw that out. Alpha Gym, J-Y-M. Alpha Gym. Dr. Well, Dr. Jim Stepani, PhD. That is the supplement. Oh, great. To, to promote natural testosterone production. It's not a, it's not testosterone. That's what I have. I had pellets inserted in, in my, in, in my ass, not in my ass. That sounded I have, weird. I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to be wrapping up. This is not a good place. I'm going to leave. By the way, this is a cliffhanger. <laughs> yep. I'm leaving them with a cliffhanger. Way to get a Stallone the pellets, movie reference. The, the pellets, on, <laughs> the pellets. Oh, God. I'm, we went over the top. Yeah. Oh, wow. I can't believe that. Do you see how I can pull this out? Okay. <laughs> so, so, I'm literally going through ra- through uh, stop, Rambo movies. Stop. I'm going through stop Stallone movies. Stop it or my mom will shoot. Listen, the, the oh, whole thing wait, is expendable. <laughs> oh, the whole thing's expendable. <laughs> it's, it's too expendable. <laughs> <laughs> expendable, too. We're expendables, too. Oh there's, there's, there's two of us. I'm going to submit my headshot. Oh, no. That was his movie with Jason Momoa. I don't remember that one. I know. That's why I threw oh, it out man. there. I, Look, that's why I had we've to been rent. at this a while. We're just staying alive. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, he directed that. Oh, he had a cameo in the beginning. Ah, yeah, come on. Come Travolta. on. You give me that one. Yeah, I, give you, oh, great. I give you that plus a gold star. That was great. I, gave, I, I pulled out over the top. That's right. I give you that. When I, I sing I, the Kenny Loggins I give theme you a, song, oh, you're really going to freak out. I give you an Oscar for that. Oscar. Whoa. 
Oh, one of his worst films of his life. This isn't fair, though. This hey, game's not fair. On, you on. know him personally. You, you work be, him out. You should be locked up. No, no, no. <laughs> you remember that one? I can't remember anything because I'm re- literally trying to top you right now. You should when see you, my face. When you went to my the face, th- I'm going, oh, when you went to the theater, he's like, he's like three buy, up on me right did you, now. Did you he's pay like, with a oh, credit card or really did you pay with Tango and Cash? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm closing with that one. I can't go though. I can't go beyond it. You're a dick. A <laughs> cock. I swear to God. That is unbelievable. You got another Did you see my mind? Did you see my mind? I was thinking to myself, I gotta beat him at this game. I am a very competitive prick. I'm not. And by the- <laughs> Oh my God. And I'm just looking for a tag right now. You see my face? I'm I'm stalling. I'm laughing, fake laughing <laughs> as I think as I think of another That's one. It's like I'm when thinking. you ask your kid a question and they go, What? I go, Don't say what to stall while you think for the oh. answer. Tell me the truth. <laughs> what? No, that's it. I know whatever you're gonna say now is a lie. <laughs> Uh, listen, we're we're in Hollywood, but you know, but if you go downtown, we're in the middle of Copland. And <laughs> <laughs> well done, well done. It wasn't though. Yeah. That was forced. I was trying to be gracious. That was terrible. <laughs> I'm being very cocky. <laughs> there, I got cock and Rocky all in one. That's a topper. <laughs> Game over. Oh my god. I <laughs> listen. I don't even know if it's still daylight out. Oh, 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 here he goes. Oh, oh, he, I yeah. got a cue card on that one. <laughs> oh, my God. That is so great. How did you do? I look How are you going to escape? I haven't looked over. How are you, you going to escape from? What was escape from? Where the fuck was he? Uh, no, hang on. Oh, the oh, one he did man. with Arnold. Uh, 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 yeah, what was that called? I, I escaped. What was that called? The, uh, yeah, called the, the tomb or something? Uh, from escape to, plan. Escape on the... Escape plan where they were on the where they were in the I got jail. The plan. <laughs> they were in the jail. Remember that? Yeah, and it was yeah. uh, it was a tanker. Yep. Oh, tanker. We've already done tango and. You cash. already did tango and cash. You missed it. Listen, yeah. I have a I have a solid creed yeah. that yes. I'd like to make with you that I will show up uh, for one of your workouts. Gunner Peterson. Gunner, go. What's your Instagram and all that? What's your Instagram? Gunner Fitness. Gunner Fitness. And what else would it be? There's no, are there any other gunners? Oh, yeah, I'm sure there are. Yeah. I tried to get Gunner, and the guy said he'll sell it to me for two grand. I was like, no, we're good. I'll just go with Gunner Fitness. Gunner Fitness is even better. There you go. Hey, pleasure, man. Um, I hope this was worth your your drive. Super fun. Um, on both sides laugh. I can't, I mean, I laugh a lot, but right, this right. is super fun. I want to bring, I'm telling you, we got to create a program where we yeah. bring laughter. And, and fitness. fitness. I totally agree. It is a really smart idea. I'm, I'm actually being semi-serious. No, me too. And it's a I'm one actually two- going to edit this out so nobody steals it. That's how good it is. But it's a one-two punch for for health and for reclaiming your own health and well-being. I, I believe that. Exactly. I'm not, I'm not casting If laughter that. is the best medicine, then why would you not combine it with your physical fitness? It, we're all made up of mind, body, and spirit. And what is... we? By the way, it handles the heart. Right, yep. you're handling the heart. 100%. I'm handling the heart. They say that if you do certain amounts of laughter, it's worth like a certain amount of sit-ups. So, so it's but but uh, it'd be a lot because of laughter. Of the abdominal to, workout. Of course it does. People come up to me. One of my favorite compliments is they say, "What body part hurts?" That I you know I do a ninety minute show and I hurt them. And it's one of my favorite things. It's one of my favorite things to do is hurt people in that way. It's the best so expression. Their abs. Yes, their abs, their face, their facial so, muscles. So when, so when they're like, um, apparently, I need to laugh a little more. But, so, so. but I need to do some things. And I also can, want to talk then about they nutrition. Can see those ab muscles rippling when they're wearing like rhinestone. Oh, I knew you were going there. I tell you, son of a bitch! I'm trying to get out of this without you having the last one. I don't want you to have the last oh. word. Oh man. I just, I'm just up here, a bird on a wire. <laughs> Seeing that? I don't know. <laughs> I'll give it to you. <laughs> you. Can't give it to me. I'm, if it's uh, not real, you can't give it to me. I'm, but I'm I, pretty you, sure, bird on a wire. You might be sure. My, uh, my, might be one of them. I can't. Oh my! I'm trying to think. All uh, right, yeah. I'll, I'll end on that. I'll Death, end. Death Game 2000. I'm not one even one counting them anymore. It's, it's so I'm done. Good. How many movies has that guy made? Of course, well, never it's so, enough. Is it's so answer. he can afford. One. Gunner Peterson, everybody. There's my segue. Ow. It's so Sly Stallone can afford to work out with Gunner Peterson. Uh, real pleasure. Hey, listen, everybody. I uh, hope you had fun today. We cocked it up <laughs> and we had some laughs. And we also hopefully gave you a little bit of information. And we really do need to work on on everything. 
We're all one giant mind, body, spirit. If you can have them all together, Scarecrow, Tin Man, and Lion all together. Was he you can in have, that? Huh? Was he in that? He was not. <laughs> I'm, it was not a reference. It was the, I thought you were winning. No, no, no. It was no, no. It was even. That was 1939. <laughs> he wasn't even born yet. Maybe he was. But anyway, so uh, I will ho- hopefully you'll just keep downloading us and passing the word on this. By the way, if you want to sponsor the show, that'd be great. Uh, contact us at craigshoemaker.com. Uh, pass the word on this. Press like. Do a review. Tell your friends. All that kind of stuff. We want to uh, help bring the light to the world. All right, Gunner. Thanks for being here. And remember, everybody, enlighten the fuck up. Oh, Thanks. I like that.